Matt Shepard of Meet Matt Shep, and this is Psych to Go. thinking about things that they need to do in the coming year that they didn't do the year previously. One resolution that people are always making, it's on the TV, it's on billboards, it's on the radio. It's everywhere. How to lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, this is how you do it. Eat less, we're having a low carb, move more. Besides, high protein, the Mediterranean, diet, the ketosis within, eat your food slowly. It's all about willpower. I did say, guys, that it's important that you exercise, right? No pressure, guys. I think I need some water. Maybe a protein bar. I'm no doctor, I'm just somebody who has their own experience around weight loss. In fact, I used to weigh 340 pounds. Yep, that's right, that's me. I got into recovery 10 years ago from an eating disorder. I personally struggled with binge eating disorder. In the United States alone, over 20 million women and 10 million men will suffer from a significant eating disorder in their life. That can include anorexia, bulimia, as well as binge eating disorder. The points that I want to make today have not so much to do just with eating disorders, but just with the mentality that we all have around weight loss in general. If they lose the weight, then they're gonna be happy. If that brand new car, if I met the right person. Because the truth is the most important weight that I ever needed to really lose was all the weight that was in my head that was holding me back and holding me down from really knowing myself for who I really am. So regardless of whether you're trying to lose weight for the New Year's or not, I got a couple points that I would just like to share with you that have helped me as I've lost the weight and then realized what I was really looking for. I am not my weight. I intrinsically have value regardless of what weight I am. If I'm looking to build my self-esteem, it's not going to be through being at a healthy body weight. Self-esteem is going to come from me doing esteemable acts. If I see an old lady crossing the street, I'll help her cross the street. Call a friend up and you let them know how much you care about them. Do the dishes for your mom when she wants you to do the dishes. When I was willing to do esteemable acts, I started to find real, genuine self-esteem that wasn't determined by any other person connecting with others. One way that we move through our life is through connecting with other people. And that is some of the heaviest weight that I've ever felt in my life is the weight of feeling like I was alone in the world. My feelings aren't fact. They're not gonna last forever. And one of the most important things I can do is to allow myself to feel whatever I'm feeling and move through it. Also for me, a diet mentality doesn't work because it either means that I'm doing something right or I'm doing something wrong. My sense of self-worth does not need to be derived from whether I'm eating a certain way or not. What I believe is important is that we eat in a way that is healthy for our body, which we each have to determine for ourselves. And with all the New Year's resolutions that are out there, it's really important that we stop and ask ourselves what are we really looking for with a commitment to honor ourselves our body our mind and our spirit if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to psych to go and if you'd like to see more of my videos my link to my channel is below in the description box I would love for you guys to check out my channel and subscribe to it you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at meet Matt Shep. and thank you so much to psych to go for allowing me to participate on their channel so what up bruh how are you letting go of the weight that holds you down in your head because that's the most important weight we have to let go of.